Hello and welcome back to another video. It's been a while since I've done a makeup tutorial so I'm super excited to do a romantic goth makeup tutorial which I have never done before. Um, one of the colors that romantic goths really usually incorporate into their looks is red so it will be a red romantic goth look for today and I'm super excited so let's get right into it. So something that I've been doing is when I put my foundation on. Oh! that I apparently spilled all over myself. Of course I had to spill foundation all over my black shirt, but I like to rub, oh no. I, I like to rub it in um, with my fingertips because it melts the foundation into your skin really, really, really nicely. Um, it does get a bit messy, but just have like a wet cloth on hand to kind of wipe all of that residue away and it is super nice. After I've rubbed that all in with my hands, I go in with a beauty blender on the big side and I'm just pressing it deeper into my skin and making sure it isn't patchy at all. And I'm avoiding my eye area because I like to put down concealer as a base um, and I don't want to bake that area because that tends to get a lot of creasing. So I bake my whole face in baby powder and then I'll, you'll see, you'll see. Next, I am just grabbing a blush. This is the Milani Cream Blush in the shade Merlot Moment. And I just go in with my finger, uh, cause this formula is awesome. It tends to really melt away on your skin. And I am just putting that along there, uh, three little dots with my finger. And then I blend it in. I like to do this before I powder my face. Um, so that it blends easier into the foundation and gives less of a um, patchy look. Um, I don't want my blush to be too intense, but I definitely do want it to show up because I'm incorporating a lot of red into this look. I feel like it'll tie it all together. So if you need to, just go back in and add some more. I'm putting my house coat over my clothes for this because I get baby powder everywhere. I like to bake with baby powder, so I do make my blush a little bit deeper than I would normally like it, just so it still shows up um, in like the perfect shade when I'm putting the baby powder on. After, ugh, see, um, you do not want all of this fallout on your most likely dark colored garments. So I recommend putting on a house coat. I don't know if you can see, but it's literally everywhere through the air and then I just sit with this for like like two to five minutes. <laughs> now that the base is pretty much done I'm going in with the elf camo uh, 16 hour concealer in the white shade and I'm going on my eyelids and then I'm gonna grab a little baby beauty blender. You don't have to use one of these. I just really like them because uh, you can get into all the tight little areas with them like I can blend into this area by my bridge here which is awesome. So I'm also putting a bit of that in my under eyebrow area as well anywhere really that I want to put makeup um, because I like to use concealer as a base everything sticks really well to it so we're not gonna set this we are just going to leave this concealer as is. I'm also going to put some under my under eyes just like this and using white especially it really brightens it up um it makes kind of a harsh contrast before you're finished your makeup um but after everything's all together it blends out very nicely uh, after i've got it kind of in there i do like to go back in with my big beauty blender just so uh it is not all harsh and weird and i blend that into the blush just making sure everything is cohesive. So onto the exciting stuff, the eye makeup. I'm going to go in with a shade of red, kind of like this one here. Exactly what shade you use doesn't matter too much. Uh, it just matters that you're using a similar shade because you will get pretty much the same outcome. Um, and I am just packing that all along here, that inner area. And then I'm grabbing a fluffy brush and I'm going to very, very gently take my time blending this into that inner 
area there. Um, and I'm gonna keep going back with that color, adding to and blending it until I am happy with the way it looks. Just a nice gentle blend out into like your skin tone. So I've got this little blend here and then I'm going to go in with a darker burgundy shade like this one here. And then I'm going to pack that down along my crease, accentuating that kind of fold in my eyelid. Um, and then I'm also going to blend that out into the red I had before. Uh, if you lose a bit of the pigment from the red, cause when you're adding different shadows on top, you do tend to lose a little bit of pigment. Um, you can just add more in. Um, this is a pretty simple kind of idea because there's not much you can do wrong. Um, if you do have something too harsh, you can just blend it out very evenly and nicely, as long as you're using the correct brushes and the correct eyeshadows. Um, I didn't really realize how much of a difference better brushes made until I started using them, because for the longest time, I had the same brushes since I was like 16, which was like two years of the time I got new brushes when I was like 18. Um, and they were from Amazon and they were really cheap. And I didn't realize how horrible they were until I got new brushes. And I was like, oh my gosh, what have I been missing? So this is what I have so far. I'm going to darken up this area by adding some more burgundy and maybe a bit of brown. Very subtly. Well, not really. Not really subtle at all, actually. I don't know why I said that. Just a long crease and continuing that process of deepening that little area there. I'm gonna grab a smaller brush. It doesn't really matter what shape, just a little smaller brush. And I'm gonna make sort of that sort of swoop right there with some black shadow. Um, we're gonna start to really darken up this look and give it a very smoky, sultry feel. Um, just packing that in there. And once you've got a lot of that packed down, you're just gonna wanna blend it out. I've got sort of like a block of black there. And I'm just, this is like a painstaking process, blending black into another color, but just gonna take my time and not rush, um, making little circular motions. I feel like that helps. I don't know if it does, but whatever. <laughs> and I'm going to blend the black into the red. I'm getting bored with blending, so I figured I'd share a little cheat with you that I like to use. So I'm putting the lighter color, which would be the burgundy, on my finger, and I'm just smearing it over top of the black and blending it with my finger. Um, and I feel like that works a lot easier and you're not spending all that time because it just kind of combines the two colors. Um, <laughs> it works pretty decently well in my experience. Once I've got that blended out, I'm gonna go in along the crease and deepen the black, just making sure it's nice and dark. Again, this is a process of going back, adding more burgundy, adding more black. Um, and I know it can get frustrating, but enjoying doing makeup and just taking your time with it and being slow and going easy on yourself when you make mistakes is a huge deal because if you're getting angry and you're getting upset by it, your makeup isn't gonna turn out as well because you're not having faith in yourself. You really have to trust the process with everything in life. Inspirational words from Emily. I'm just gonna grab a brush with a little bit of that red shade on it and just blend it into the black so that it kind of gets that shade in there. I'm going to go in with some liquid liner and it will save the day as it always does. So I'm just gonna, okay, first of all, I'm making sure my hand is clean because I always make this mistake where I put my hand against my face to do my eyeliner and I have like black fallout on there <laughs> and I have to fix up my base makeup, which is annoying. So just going in from the corner of the eye, going upward. It just like that, and doing the same on the other side. I'm going from around here, and I'm connecting 
to that line. Now that I have this monstrosity, I'm going to go in with my black liner and fill in that little shape I made earlier. And then, can you guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab more black eyeshadow and press it into the eyeliner while it's still wet. Uh, you might get some of this going on, but that's fine. I can clean that up later. Um, pressing it in there and dragging it onto the eyelid. Now that that's all done, it looks somewhat like this. I'm grabbing my liquid eyeliner and I'm going along here, connecting it to the wing all the way from the inner corner of my eye. I'm just connecting it there. You can make this as thick or as thin as you want. It's optional and it's all up to you. If you don't even want to add this little thing, that's fine. I don't know what to call it. Everybody does this with their eyeliner <laughs> um but just making that go into there and i'm gonna grab an angled brush and put some foundation or concealer on it and very carefully go along that line and drag it down just like this so that it looks all nice and clean. And then once I have that, I'm getting a clean finger, make sure it's not covered in black eyeshadow, and I'm blending that out. If you need to like smear it a little um, to make it lighter, that works too. But just blending that out into the rest of my base makeup. Now I'm getting a little pencil eyeliner and I'm just going to line my waterline. I love this part, it's my absolute favorite. Doesn't make me scared that I'm going to poke myself in the eye and die at all. And now I'm just going to bring all of that underneath my eye. So all that red just along the bottom there. And then I'm gonna grab a tiny little brush. Um, this already has a bit of black on it from blending out black. So I'm not gonna even add more. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get a lot of powder in my eye apparently. And I'm gonna blend that out all nicely like that. Something that I like to do personally is add these little kind of lash-like lines. I just like the way they look. These are completely optional. So I just very quickly did my brows off camera um, and now I'm putting on some mascara. If you have eyebrows, do them however you want. If you don't have eyebrows, do them however you want. Um, it's pretty much up to you, but I wanted to go with a thin, straight brow for this look because I feel like it fit it pretty well. For the lips, I'm just gonna grab a little eyeshadow brush, put some black on it, and I'm just gonna go in my corners like this. I can't really talk while I'm doing this, but you can see what I'm doing. So I want my lips to look somewhat like this, and then I'm just going in with a deep red lipstick. Like there. So I'm going to apply some lashes by putting the glue directly on my lash line. I'm going to do my hair and I will be right back to show you the finished product. And here's the finished look. I hope you guys like this tutorial and you find it useful. If you do end up following this tutorial, please send me a picture on my Instagram, which is in my link tree down below. Don't forget to follow me on my other socials and please subscribe. It means so much. Make sure to leave a comment down below as well and hit the like button. Thank you guys so much for watching and for always being so supportive of my channel. I really, really appreciate it and it means the world to me. I'll see you next time. Love you. Bye.